Hi, welcome to another two minute tip. In the last tip, we looked at natural harmonics, where we took an open string and divided it up with that finger into one of the points where the string would vibrate sympathetically on both sides of our finger and create this lovely bell-like tone. If you haven't had a look at that one, go and have a look at that tip now, because this time we're going to do artificial harmonics. The problem with natural harmonics is they only occur in certain places, so we can only get certain notes. But using this technique, we can play any note we like as a harmonic. So we did the artificial harmonic of the open first string by touching above the 12th fret. If I were to hold down the first fret of that same string and find 12 frets higher than that, so the 13th fret, I now need to put a finger over the fret, 12 frets above that one at the 13th fret. But now I've run out of hands. I need to pluck that string. So what I do is I pluck with my thumb and I touch the point with my index finger like this. I'm going to touch the 13th fret with the tip of my index finger and I'm going to use my thumb here to pluck behind. Let me tip my hand up so you can see. And that way I can play any note I like. This is where having a longer fingerboard is quite useful. If you've got, I've only got 13 frets, if you've got 15, 17, 19 frets, even though you might not play up there, they're a good place to be able to see where to put your finger. Otherwise, you're kind of doing it blind over the body like I was. But you can play a chord. So if I use that same one and play a C7 chord, I can play the 12th fret of harmonic of those three and the 13th fret of that one because that one's one fret higher. I'm essentially drawing out the shape up here, 12 frets higher. And as long as this hand maps out the same shape that I'm playing down here, I can play any note I like as a harmonic. That one's going to take a bit of practice. I hope this has helped and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.